Hey Tribe, Medlaker here. In today's video, you're going to find out how to make 8K per month using Fiverr. Okay guys, so if you haven't seen this video yet, in my previous video I just explained to you how to set up your first gig on Fiverr and how to perform the market research. So if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you already know how to set up a gig, how to research the market, whether there is a potential and you got a couple of sales. And in this video, I will specifically show you how to grow this to 8K per month revenue. So if you haven't seen that video yet, then check this out. It's in the upper uh, corner of this video or in the description. So you're going to have those basics handled. Now, assuming that you have this, the first thing you need to understand about Fiverr is that it works differently to Upwork in the sense that you actually improve your traffic on your gigs. So at the beginning, you're not going to get a lot of traffic meaning that not many of you are going to see your gigs. But as you are getting customers and as you're getting positive reviews, you're going to get more people visiting your gigs. And this is because of the Fiverr's algorithm. So the algorithm works in a way that Fiverr wants to send you more traffic to your gig, meaning that showing you higher in the search result when people are searching for a particular phrase, for example, video editing or logo design, Fiverr will show you higher in the search, consequently driving more traffic to you if it has the social proof that you're actually validated. So how can you have the social proof? By selling gigs and by getting positive reviews. So positive reviews are not just the social proof, as most of the people think, for other people to see that, okay, this person has good reviews, this person is qualified to work with. No, it's not just for the regular PR sense of the social proof, it's mainly for the Fiverr algorithm. So that the algorithm knows that, hey, this seller has good reviews, people are happy with it, so I'm going to rank this person higher, I'm going to rank this gig higher. And this is why you have to do everything that is in your power to rank this gig as high as possible and keep getting new customers. So how can you keep getting new customers? How can you trigger this algorithm to start ranking you? Because it's kind of like a vicious circle. Nobody can find you on Fiverr and therefore you're not getting buyers and therefore you're not getting their reviews and therefore the algorithm is not ranking you higher. So you're not jumping on this positive upwards going spiral, if you will. So the way to do that is to promote your Fiverr gig outside of Fiverr. And that's a little bit of a hack here, but that's completely, so to speak, legal in line with the terms of use of Fiverr to just promote your gig somewhere else, on your LinkedIn, on your social media, so that you can drive traffic from outside of Fiverr to Fiverr. And every social media platform likes this. So for example, YouTube likes when you're driving external traffic to YouTube and Facebook, for example, doesn't like when you're driving traffic outside of Facebook by linking to YouTube. So every platform wants to appreciate you in a sense because you're driving more traffic to them. Now, what's going to happen as you're getting onto this positive upwards going spiral, you're gonna get ranked as Fiverr level one, two and such. So this is when Fiverr starts sending you not twice as much traffic, but normally 10 times more traffic each time. So you're gonna see a compounding growth. So Fiverr is a long-term game in a sense. So you want to build your gigs and your profiles as an asset that will develop over time. Now, the problem that most of the people who sell on Fiverr have is that at certain point they really lose their time because they can't deliver so many customers, especially because Fiverr is usually a sale of five to 50, well, could be more, but usually those are micro sales. So the problem is that 
you start selling to a lot of customers and do all sorts of jobs but you don't have time and this is when the project management comes in place so what you want to do is you want to processize every offer that you have so how do you processize it well with fiverr this is easier than with other freelancing platforms because all you need to do is create clear workflow of how you deliver the exact service that you're talking about in the offer. So for example, for people who are offering something on Upwork, it's a little bit hard because they have to apply to different jobs and there are different expectations and requirements from different customers. Whereas on Fiverr, that's you telling customers what you're offering. So you might as well create and draw a simple workflow explaining how to do this. And why would you do that? Because then you can leverage your team members. You can start hiring people who can replicate you. So this is the mindset shift, if you will, number one. And I made a whole video about creating workflows and processes. You can check this video. It's in the upper corner of this one and in the description. Now, the next mindset that you need to have is to start using Fiverr as a tripwire. So tripwire means that somebody is walking and just falling down on that little tripwire. So it's kind of like a trap. Now, what does it mean? Well, not in a negative sense, the trap, it's just a way for you to hunt for customers so that you can upsell them on the higher ticket gigs later. And this is where real Fiverr money is made. So it's not just because you're selling something for $5, it's because you're establishing trust relationship with the customer and the psychology works in a simple way. Imagine somebody sells you something for $5 and you're super happy about this. Then the next time when they offer you something for 500, you expect as much value in the proportion that you got for the $5 sale. So you just trust this person more and that's gonna be your go-to guy when it comes to tech, when it comes to websites, when it comes to marketing, that's gonna be your go-to online guy that will work with you. So make sure that you understand that this is mainly about relationship building and the sales in Fiverr is not just about those initial sales. It's about the larger sale that is coming after. Now, if you want to work directly with me, go to tribalmastermind.com where I can help you together with other instructors who make more than $10,000 each month just from Fiverr. We can help you build this funnel properly in a very systematized and organized way. So go to tribalmastermind.com, apply to work with us, apply to join the mastermind, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. Feel alive.